It is the X Morning Show. This is 105.9 The X. Tim Benz, Bob McLaughlin with you. 9 o'clock on a Friday. This one we often do. Are You Smarter Than? It's our cheap rip-off knockoff of Are You Smarter Than a 5th Grader. We have four of the most gorgeous Permanese girls in all of Western Pennsylvania. Uh, I know that Haley and Brittany are veterans. Uh, Laura, you've done this before too, correct? I've yeah. done it as, well, as many as, uh, times as they have. Well, you brought an extra... She's the newbie. We're you brought the newbie, the intern. Fresh blood in. Yeah, Jen is the rookie of the bunch. Jen, are you ready for this? Have you have you kind of gleaned some expertise from your fellow Promantes girls? I've tried to ask, but um, I hear the questions are pretty intense. So plus her throat hurts. She's got a raspy, sexy voice this He's morning. He's my raspy voice. Yeah, right. You've got kind of a Kathleen Turner thing going on. I kind of like it. Thank you. Now she's blushing. How dated her reference that's just was. She has no idea who Kathleen Wait, but that's Turner exactly was. what I said to them also when she walked in and said, my voice is really raspy today. Yeah, you've been volunteered as the spokesperson, all right? Okay. All right. <laughs> you can take advice from all of them. Go ahead and say, I'm yes. not bad. I'm just drawn this way. <laughs> Forget it. Forget it. <laughs> all right, so here's what's going to happen. Brandon is going to be the caller. Brandon, where are you calling from? Uh, Monroeville. Monroeville. Okay, so Brandon uh, already gets tickets to go to the movie screening, and if he wins, he gets tickets to the Hard Rock Cafe Halloween Bash at Station Square. Ladies, before we get going with the game, uh, tell us what's going on at your local Permantes. I know, first of all, Brittany, uh, you're at the Robinson location, right? Yes. All right, so is there something, any specials or things like that we have to be aware of for Steeler games or hockey games or things like that? Uh, for the Steeler games, we're doing um, a 225, 23-ounce drafts. And then for the Penguin games, we always have uh, the dollar drafts or the dollar fifty pizza slices. The other ladies are shaking their heads. Is that right or is wrong? Is that correct or is that wrong? Ste uh, Steeler games are dollar fifty cans of butter. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll maybe at her store. Question I don't, wrong. I don't, I don't usually work on Sunday, so I'm just trying to think of off of. Question the one. I see. Promote Got it. your own restaurant. Right. <laughs> Go there on Sundays and see what kind of special they have that day. Uh, yeah, Haley, how about what's happening at Moon? Um, pretty much the same stuff. Uh, like she said, penguin. Which games. one? Yeah. <laughs> oh, too correct. Are too correct. Yeah. All the I, better ones, right? During penguin games, we have a lot of specials going on. We have two twenty-five drafts for that day, and then we have dollar twenty-nine pizza slices and forty-eight cent wings. A dollar twenty-nine? Yeah. Yes. One twenty-nine because of Marc Andre Fleury. What's the what's the one twenty-nine there for? I really don't know. Is that bad? That I, I don't know. know the answer to this I question? just feel like I have to come to your restaurant now with pennies. Absolutely. <laughs> bring bring all the pennies. It's Got fine. it. All right, Laura. You sure we, we've tuned up Jen enough here? Is she good to go as the spokesperson? Can she handle it? Uh, we'll see. All right, here we go. First question. Brandon, you get to go first, okay? All right. All right, let me see if I can find my questions here. Here they are. I've got them taped up to the back wall. All right, question one. The Steelers play in Oakland this weekend, Brandon. Ladies, if he gets this wrong, you can steal, so be thinking, all right? Pay attention. What city is the farthest south? Oakland, Pittsburgh, Louisville, or Dallas? What is the... Huh? That would be Dallas. Dallas is correct. That's right. So you know your geography. You are smarter than a fifth grader when it comes to geography. Well, most anyway. Brandon, do you know what the special is at the Robinson restaurant? <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on. Uh, Brandon took that too seriously. All right. <laughs> Ladies, your question is an animal science question. Yes. Birds. <laughs> the category is birds. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wood. Ringed teal. Dutch. Hookbill and French white are what kind of bird? Can you repeat the question, please? Can we have yes. multiple choice? No, well, any bird. <coughs> any bird, These yeah. are all types of this kind of bird, oh. okay? So if I said, like, bald or golden, oh. it would be an eagle, all right? So all right. wood, ringed teal, Dutch hookbill, and French white are what kind of bird? How many times I said this? Oh, I'm just kidding. A fifth grader. I don't know if a fifth grader would know it or not. I don't know. Go for it. Well, you said wood in there, right? I said wood, yes. So, like a woodpecker? A woodpecker! Oh, no, that's not right. <laughs> I was just clarifying that that's what well, you Well, wait, that would be a ring pecker, a hooded pecker? Well, it, it was, okay. We all know there are different kind of peckers out there, and that a woodpecker is one of them, but I don't think that's it. Would you like to steal, Brandon? Uh, I'm just going to take a guess and say geese. Geese! Ooh, Brandon, you're Ooh. very close. It's Think of the duck. news. Think it's of the news duck. lately uh, here in Pittsburgh. Duck. Oh, okay. I liked yes. Woodpecker, though. You look so yeah. impressed. <laughs> I really, oh, I was really excited about it. Right? You also trumped Jen as the spokesperson, yeah, so no, that was the no bad clue. karma there. All right, ladies, you go first on this one. This is a current events question. 
We've had a lot of talk about the debt ceiling and the government shutdown and all that, right? What are the two houses of government? Sorry, what are the two houses of Congress? The two houses of Congress. What are the two houses of Congress? Congress has two houses. Congress. What are they? You know it. I, I, I do know. I'm, I'm okay. Just, you're going to have to shake it out of each other. <laughs> oh, huh? Oh, oh, oh. I'm, 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 we're just talking amongst ourselves. Okay, I think you got one of them. I heard it over okay. there. Okay, the House of Representatives. That is correct. Yes, and the... The Hall of Woodpeckers. <laughs> oh, I'm never going to live that down. I can just hear it now. Woodpecker, woodpecker, woodpecker. I can just hear it. At least you know your specials. Right? right? Yes. Seriously. All right, the House of Representatives and the... House of Senate? The House of... The House of Senate the or just the... Senate. Yeah. <laughs> that was the House. Right. But it would be Why the House of Gucci, <laughs> you know? That is correct. You are right. It is the Senate. So mm. we'll give you a point for that one. If you get this right, Brandon... You win. So this is how it goes. It's going to be a science question. Are you good at science, Brandon? Yeah, I'm fairly good at it. Fairly good at it. All right. It's cold outside. If it's 4.4444 degrees <laughs> Celsius, how many degrees Fahrenheit is it? So yes, you can have a pen. Have paper? You, you can have paper, too, but he's, he gets to go first. He, so you only get it if he gets it wrong. So go ahead, Brandon. 4.444444 infinity degrees Celsius. How many degrees Fahrenheit? And it is cold outside. Uh, that'd be 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh my God, that's right. Oh, is it? Oh, I was wrong then. That's spot on. It is 40 <laughs> degrees Fahrenheit. Brandon, way to go. You won. Wow, impressive. You are smarter than the four from Annie's Girls, which you probably could have figured out when they didn't get their own specials right. <laughs> I think oh, I, I got it right. I got the one special right. right. I, got it. I just got oh. you confused. Haley is so pissed. <sighs> Brandon, you're going to see the X Hard Rock Cafe Halloween Bash. Way to go. Congratulations. Enjoy the show, all right? Thank you. We'll have your tickets there, plus three of your friends, so show up in costume and you can win a thousand bucks, plus you can see the Bloody Seaman, the Bastard Bearded Irishman, and Staley's Comet as well, all right? Mm -hmm. And you got night. the movie tickets, too. And you got the movie tickets as well, so we'll see you there, okay, Brandon? All right, thanks. All right, since I feel bad since we picked on Brittany here, would you like to try to get the bonus question right? Step right up, Brittany. Just for yes. giggles? Okay. Yes. All right, here's Girls, you goes. can support her. Get behind her here, okay? Tomorrow is October the 25th. How is 25 represented in Roman numerals? If you were at 25 in Roman numerals, how would it go? XXV. XXV? That is correct. Wow. Redemption. There you go. Look at the newbie. Getting behind the team and pulling you guys along. And it only costs a dollar XXV cents for Bud Light Drafts on Steeler Game Days. We think. All right, one more time. The specials are where people can go for their local permanies. Dollar, Bud and Bud Light, 16 ounce cans for the Steeler Games, dollar fifty slices. That's with Laura and Jen in Pleasant Hills, right? Yes. And then two twenty five drafts for Penguin Games, dollar twenty nine slices, forty eight cent wings. Perfect. And, awesome. for, and forty eight cent wings all day on Sunday. Yes. Oh. And that. <laughs> <laughs> also. It's one oh five nine the X.